Chapter 24, verse 24, that many false prophets shall appear and they shall perform many great miracles, signs, and wonders, all to deceive you. But listen, I've told you all this so that no man deceive you. They are like thieves that come at night to steal, destroy, and kill. Can't I, can't I rest? Oh, you don't complain, you're making When I give an order, you complain in that. Don't you first complain on this job. I said, get that book Forgive me, uh, my very good friend Jonah. Why are you laughing at me? Why you after I told you the hell I'm passing through, why are you laughing at me? <laughs> I'm laughing at you because you think you're the only person that is passing through hell. We all are passing through hell. Everybody's suffering, except uh, the very few uh, uh, dishonest uh, people in power. No, no, Moses. There is nobody in this world who is passing through what I am passing through. <laughs> you're wrong, Jonah, you know. You're wrong. I am a very good example. Look at me. A high school teacher for over 10 years without anything to show for it. Look at me. But what can I do? Moses. Yes. I have been toying with this idea of engaging in church business. Real spiritual works. Church business, real spiritual works. Uh, yeah, yeah, that is a good idea. Church has become one of the most rewarding businesses today. That is if you know how best to go about it. Different people from all over the world. America, United Kingdom, India, Pakistan, Indonesia, Businessmen, politicians, even traditional rulers will come to us. 
That is, if you, or rather, we can lay hands on a very good source of power. Why not? Why not, Moses? Have you forgotten I know a lot about stargazing and divinity? <laughs> Jonah, it will take more than mere reading of stars and uh, divinity. It will take practical miracles, signs and wonders, Jonah. Damn. People will come seeking us and consulting us. Exactly. Exactly. Miracles. Signs and wonders. Give it to them, Jonah, and they will give you whatever you ask of them, including their souls. Now tell me, Jonah, do you have the power? But but, 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 shut up! Be sorry for yourself. Let them appear next time. Did you check everything? It was a clean job, sir. The victim this time was a young lady, and all the vital parts of her body are inside the bag. Let me see. Did you give him all the money? Everything. I dropped everything for him in that. Good. Take the bag inside. Right. And see me here same time tomorrow night for the next assignment. Your money is on the shelf. Stretch for your hands. I receive from the Holy One. With this, you shall hypnotize anybody. Or crowd with it to energize and recharge the power of the spring, you must sacrifice. Sanctara Shama Shama. Your mission has just begun. Your power will blossom, and you shall do incredible exploits. Your name shall spread like the sun in the sky that shines everywhere in the world.
With this, you shall know your guiding angel. And she shall appear to you whenever you are in troubles. Go! And the miracles. You have changed. I, 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 I hardly recognized you. I, I had your, your t-shirt, your singlet, and your pair of sandals with me. Our mission has just begun. You are looking at the power for signs and wonders. Jonah, have you gotten the power, power for miracles? Tell me, Jonah, have you now gotten the power? Power for signs, power for wonders, power to move men and women, power to move the supernatural. Yes, I have the power. Jo Jonah, what, 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 what was that? But we have to swear with our blood. with principalities and powers in disguise. With the earth. With the gods of the waters. That we will not expose one another or betray each other. Jonah, we are in all this together. I, I, I will never betray you nor, nor, nor expose our secrets. I, I swear. my ring. Shama. This, this is good. <laughs> this, this is good. I cannot agree more. <laughs> wow. Wow. Moses. Yes, John. Upon this land shall I establish our tabernacle. Yes! So shall it be in the name of Shama! <laughs> I'm off, Angie. I'll see you when I get back. Get back from where? From my new church, of course. Kate, don't tell me you are still this serious about this, your new man of God. Ah, hey, I am very serious too. Very, very serious. And what is so special about him anyway? He's very special. Mm -hmm. Very, very special. Mm -hmm. He's a special man of God. I'll see you when I get back. <sighs> that reminds me. Yes? Angela, Kate, why don't you come with me? I swear, Angela, if that man pray for you, mm -hmm. all your problems will be solved. See, <laughs> Prophet Jonah makes impossibility possible. If you come to his church, you will see persons, multitude of persons with afflictions of different magnitude. And your pastor hears them all? Ah, he hears them all. Oh. I saw all the miracles he did with my naked eyes. The demon possessed, mm -hmm. HIV AIDS patient, mm -hmm. cancer, mm -hmm. barrenness, just name it. He heals them all. Eh? And what is your own problem or affliction, if I may ask? <laughs> Angela, are you asking me? Yes, yeah, so marriage, of course. <laughs> Angela, take a look at me. Mm -hmm. At 27, am I not old enough for marriage? You're my old self. Grandmama. Angela, 
Prophet Jonah has also declared that all single girls who are members of his church will marry before the end of this year. Hmm. Praise God. Angela, not just any husband. Hmm. He said millionaire husbands. Angela, I am so happy. I am very happy. Wait. What makes you believe so much in this your man of God? <laughs> that man is just like God. Mm -hmm. Whatever he says must surely come to pass. Prophet Jonah has never proclaimed anything that didn't come to pass. In fact, that man is a wonderful man of God. Angela, I'll see you when I come back. Bye bye, Angie. Mega. Yes. Are we not going to the church again? I am not going anywhere. What did you say? Benga. Benga. Falake, come to think of it. Where should I go with you? And answer me, why should I go with you? Have I not gone to enough places looking for a child? Please, it's enough. You are not talking like a man for goodness sake, Benga. Seven years of marriage without a child and you are giving up. Yes. Yes, I've given up. I have given up for my care. Seven years of going from one, uh, from one pastor to another, one spiritualist to another list. And yet you say I have not tried? You have not tried. We still have this last time to try. Prophet Jonah is God sent. People testify every day concerning God's miracles through him. Honey. Once we see him, we're going to have as many children as we desire. Oh, Honey, darling. Honey, I know how frustrated you feel. I feel the same too. But don't worry. Once you are prayed for by Prophet Jonah, our problems will be over. Thank you. It's okay. Mm -hmm. You can go. I'll, I'll think about it and we will let time. Venga. I want to assure you. The Almighty is here with us. Yeah. Angels Gabriel and Michael are moving around here in operation. Yeah. And all of you will go home with full doses of miracles. Yeah. Move on, Shaba, and set your people free. Yeah. Manifest yourself, Shaba. Shama. You. Shama. 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 What is wrong with you? Kapakasi. Chakra basapas. And light some. Woo. Shama. Shama. Who brought you here? The brother is just short. His name is David. Receive your sight! Shama! Shaka Basama! I can see! Hallelujah! I can see! And if you ask me, the money bag. <laughs> <laughs> Prophet Jonah, and if you ask me, a man on one and one with God, the spiritual master.
the spiritual master. <laughs> I have a pleasant surprise to see you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You're most welcome. Thank you very much. Please meet Brother Moses. Hello, how are you? How are you, sir? I'm fine, thank you. I'm Please fine. do sit down. Thank you very much. Oh, what a great surprise we have. <laughs> uh, what can we do for you? Um, I've heard so much about you, Prophet. About your healing powers and prophecies, miracles, signs and wonders, everything. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> everything. No, 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 the power is not mine. Power belongs to the almighty Shama. I'm only an instrument in the hands of Shama. Oh, that's true, that's true. Um, I've been directed to you to lend a helping hand to the works of God. Excuse me. <laughs> there is a check of two million naira and three cent below. Uh, let's just say it's my little support. For the good work you're doing for God. Two million naira. Two million naira. <laughs> God will bless you exceedingly. Amen. Abundantly. Amen. Amen. Brother Moses. Yes, please. Two million naira. This is wonderful. Oh, brother <laughs> Moses. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Welcome, darling. Why were you not at the service today? We've been waiting for the driver since he didn't come to pick us. I don't know what happened. That's not good enough. So how was service today? Oh, multitude as usual. Oh, thank you, Lord. You know what? What? That five white men came worshiping with us today. <gasps> but all of them are HIV victims. <gasps> it's victims? Are they going to be healed? The Lord Shama can do all things. He oh. makes the impossible possible. Glory be to God. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You must be famished. Yes, I am. Let me get your food there. Okay. The Judith, come on. Help me in the kitchen, okay? Confusion and lies. It makes you see. wonderful prophet. I want to tell you that you enjoy it for a very long time to come. Yes, I will forward a check of 1.2 million naira first thing tomorrow morning. That's wonderful prophet. God bless you. God bless you, sir. Uh, another thing. This transaction must remain a top secret. 
Okay, Prophet. Nobody must hear about it. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, my lord. Okay, Prophet. Doctor, you're back. Yes, I am. Uh -huh. uh, thank you very much. How is the family, madam? It's just all right. That's good. Wonderful. How was your trip? Were you able to see him? Well, well, well. Those security guys were as difficult as usual. But I persisted until I saw him. Yeah, he is in good health. Uh, Madam, he has, uh, he gave me a message for you. He asked me to tell you to keep up the struggle until he is released. <sighs> is there any other problem, Madam? You're looking worried. Yes, a very serious one. Really? Can you imagine? I received a fax message. Fax intelligence message this morning that the government is no longer happy with me. What? Not happy with you? Why? They lock up your husband and expect you to be quiet? In fact, I've been advised to leave this country immediately. It wasn't it all. Now tell me, doctor. Do you think I should leave? Leave my husband in jail? Oh no. Well, I can't. Hey, brother Zubi, you already know brother Moses. And I wrote to me here is our accountant. Hello, sir. God bless you, son. Welcome. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Before I uh, wrote to me joined us, he had almost attended all the churches in the country. <laughs> 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 well, gentlemen, Brother Zubi here is one gentleman God has been using in wonderful and unbelievable ways to bless our ministry. That is correct. <laughs> Only last week, he brought in video cameras and editing machines worth over 10 million naira for our church to set up a TV production unit. <laughs> <laughs> that is wonderful. And he has also promised to introduce more influential members of the society to the church. <laughs> Thank you, Prophet. Uh, but first, let me introduce the lady with me. Her name is Nancy. She's an international businesswoman. Sister Nancy, your footsteps are ordered of the Lord. Amen. Shama bless you. Thank you very much. In fact, it's my pleasure to meet you face to face. <laughs> uh, Prophet, Nancy needs some spiritual works. Thereafter, she promises to link the church and you to top men all over the world, including presidents. Uh, lest I forget, the white people you saw in the church last week, she brought them. Oh. <laughs> uh, not only that, Prophet, Nancy has repeatedly assured me that she will promote the church and you in particular, um, CNN, BBC, Ooh. Voice of America, and other top media organs of the world, as we also showcase the wonders and miracles of our church. Oh. <laughs> Sister Nancy, you're welcome. Thank you, Pam. You're a daughter of Shama. 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 Prophet, Prophet. Congratulations. I, I didn't know you bought a video card. Oh, that. Uh, somebody who was healed of cancer last week gave it to me as a personal gift. Really? Uh, may I ask who? Uh, he begged me not to disclose his identity. One of those publicity shy government top shots, you know? Oh, please, Prophet, tell me who the donor is, and I promise I wouldn't disclose his identity. Brother Moses, if you don't mind, I want to respect the wish of the giver. Anything else? Uh, well, yes, uh, this file contains a proposal written by me regarding our setting up a committee which I call the Christian Disciples Committee that will look into the affairs of the church. I don't think I'll be needing any such committees. I do not want anything that would derail my programs for the church. But, but how can we not? I said I do not want any such committees, at least not for now.
Prophet Jonah. I am very sorry. I had to come on my own. This ailment is gradually killing me. Hey, I don't know what to do. Chief, if you believe, you will not die but live to see the manifestations of the Lord Shama. I have been to over 40 places, native doctors, pastors, without luck. I have so much about you. That is why I came on my own. I serve a God who never disappoints anyone who trusts in him. If you believe, she will be healed. If you can heal me of this sickness, I will give you seven hectares of land. I must do more than that even. Hear me, O Shama. Hear me, O Shama. Your infirmities are this body. I command you, in the name of Shama, leave! Leave! Prophet John, I cannot feel any pain anymore. Eh? Hey. God will bless you. Hey. God bless you. God will bless you. Hey, my prophet. Hey. Thank you. Sister Nancy, this is wonderful. An invitation from the head of state? Yes, Prophet. He was thrilled after he watched your videotape. He told me he's been looking for somebody like you to be his spiritual consultant. He was carried away. Oh, Shama be praised. And he's expecting me at the Vienna on Saturday. Yes. Now tell me. How did you get to meet the head of state? <laughs> oh, Prophet, I have a key that opens all the doors of the powerful and the mighty in the society. Sister Nancy, <laughs> come right in. Ah, oh, very much. Excuse me, the wife of the uh, incarcerated minister is waiting to see you, Prophet Jonah. Um, she says it is urgent. Okay. Do send that in for the music. I'll do that, Prophet. I'll buy you a drink for this. Thank you. My life is in danger. That is why I'm here. I know you're surprised to see me, considering my social status, aren't you? There is no discrimination. No social status in the house of God. You're most welcome. Thank you. Prophet, I have been informed that this same government which imprisoned my husband is no longer happy with me and may even kill me if I don't leave this country immediately. Can you imagine? This house of God is a strong tower, and whoever runs into it is safe. You are not running away to anywhere. Prophet, is there anything you can really do to protect my life? I mean, can you help? Special protection power that will neutralize the powers of your enemies. That apart, I will speak with the head of state to release your husband immediately. Can you really do all that? I mean, can you? Madam, you are looking in the physical 
Do not mind the outlook of my office. This is Holy Spirit once. The Holy Spirit has asked me not to be glamorous, but conservative. God can do all things. Take a look at this. An invitation from the head of state? I'm dining with the head of state this weekend. I must tell you, your coming here is timely and most divinely directed. Oh, I can't say it. Glory, 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 glory. Your husband will be released sooner than expected. Glory. How can I thank you if you could do all this? No, no, no. It is God who makes impossibilities possible that you thank, not me. I am only an instrument in the hands of Shama. Whatever it is you want to use to show appreciation to Shama for what he has done, what he will do, and what he's about to do for you and your husband, you can only show an appreciation. Anything you ask me for, I shall give. Oh, well. Ten million naira will be not too much for you and your husband's life, is that? No, not at all. I will give you seven million this evening and make sure you get the balance after my husband's release. Your husband is already released. <laughs> you will stay here in the tabernacle for the next one week to seek the face of the Lord. Yes, prophet. And after that, you will go home. And no harm shall befall you. That is the promise of Shama. And that is your portion. Shama, I bless you. Hello? Yes. Prophet Jonah on the line. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, I am on my way. Thank you. Mr. President, I suppose. The ADC then lady. Mm. He says the president is ready to receive me in the next one hour. Hmm. Are you ready to see the president? I mean, totally ready. I'm ready. Totally ready. Your Excellency. Actually, I invited you here because I want you to 
<laughs> Your Excellency, I know why you invited me here. Shama. You invited me here, Your Excellency, because you need spiritual fortification to rule this country as long as you live. You are correct, my lord. But Your Excellency, you've been spending time acquiring perfumes. You are right, my lord. You see, my lord, my position is the most sensitive one in this country, and as such, I have to... I understand. Your Excellency, I'm going to work on you now. Oh, Shama. Shama. Please kindly tell your security aides that there is no cause for alarm. Because the Spirit of God will descend on you. You may fall or cry out so that they don't think your Excellency is under attack. No problem. Then, lady, I don't want to receive any stranger or be disturbed in the next two hours. Shama. Shama. Destroy! Oh, Shama. Subdue his enemies. Shama. Renew his strength. May he rule. Shama. May he rule. Shama. Shama. May he rule this country forever. Shama. 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 any plans to harm you. Thank you, my lord. Thank you. And this shall be in your pocket always. Whenever you're outside your home, no scud missile will hit you. Thank you, my lord. Thank you for the marvelous things you've done tonight. I now know that you're a true man of God. These are all you need. Thank you. To be what you want to be. Thank you, my lord. And no harm shall befall you. Thank you, my lord. Shama, Shama has spoken. Thank you, my lord. Thank you. I will give you 40 million naira. For the work of God, yes. Yes, for the continuation of the work of God. Yes, for the work of God. And I will want you to relocate your, your church as soon as possible. <laughs> yes. Yes, that's good news, Your Excellency. Yes, I will tell the Federal Capital Minister to make the land available as soon as you are ready. Thank you for the offer, Your Excellency. All is well. Thank you. you go in peace. Thank you. With the powerful protection I have given you, all the plans of the enemy is scattered. Enemy. And I can assure you, your husband will be released before the end of this month. Hallelujah. Thank you, Prophet. Thank you. And may God continue to use you to do greater works. All right. Bye. Shama bless you. Thank you.
Thank you very much. Well, uh, thank you. Do you know why I like you very much? Not quite, sir. Uh, it is because you're capable of doing many things, I tell you myself. <laughs> now tell me, uh, how many snakes are in there? About 200 pieces, sir. 200? No, 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 no. Brother Asaki, we need about 500 more snakes. But, sir, what actually do you do with these snakes? Uh, Brother Asaki, you see, we, we have the powers to extract the saliva from the snakes, mix them with uh, water, and this is what we sell to the... Uh, uh, congregation as uh, blood of Jesus and um, uh, holy water. Uh, this is for your uh, ears only, okay? <laughs> you put that in the uh, trunk, please. That is very good. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Brother Saki, thank you very much. Yeah? All right, sir. Thanks a lot. Yes, I will. This friend of mine is also a money bag. He wants to become king of his town, but there's this strong opposition against him, very strong. Why? He was once an armed robber. Prophet, I am sure you can help him become king of his town. Well, bring him first. And every other thing will be history. But, Everything will depend on how much he's willing to come into this spiritual world. <laughs> he will surprise you, Prophet, I can assure you. At least he confided in me that he is ready to pay 10 million naira. If only you can help him actualize his dream, that's all. You must bring him immediately. Delay may be detrimental. <laughs> Thank you, Prophet. I knew you could do it. Ugly girl. They there they with love magazine. Bench like you. Very soon I go leave you here, go marry my millionaire husband. You never start. Who won't marry yourself? All your younger ones don't marry finish. You did there. One week, one boyfriend. One week, one boyfriend. Make your prophet Jonah they deceive you. <laughs> Can you now see my point that that man Jonah is taking every one of us for granted? I was surprised. I told him we should try and be different from other churches. I told him that we must at least have a branch of our church in each state. 
I knew you would never welcome that idea. I knew it. He is so afraid that his powers will be decentralized should he approve of it. He shocks me. I cannot really say I understand him anymore. And I'm not too comfortable with his attitude these days. Moses, I don't seem to get the point you're trying to make here. I am only trying to say that we should have a, a form of a documented agreement between us. It is not necessary. Why not? Why are you always saying that these things are not necessary? The board of trustees is not necessary. The state branches of the church, not necessary. And even a documented agreement between us now, not necessary. Why? Why? I'll tell you why. We share the power here, and we roll in the glory together. Look at the great people that come to us here, and we control. But spare me the rhetoric, Jonah. I am not a fool. Of course you know that. I am not a fool. All the agreements that we reached, even before I accepted to quit my teaching job, we must document. That's all. You talk as if we're running a limited liability company here. Are we not? Are we? Oh, good. Tell me we're not. Jonah, tell me we are not. It's all business, Jonah. It's all business. And in every business, agreements must be documented and respected. That's all. Why are you so desperate about documenting agreements? Are you not comfortable? For crying out loud, see who is talking about comfort. Am I comfortable? We are raking millions on a daily basis. Every Sunday we generate between 20 and 30 million naira. More than 1 million naira that we realize from the sons of the blood of Jesus. Not to talk about money from presidents, international sportsmen and women and businessmen. Now look at me, Jonah. Look at me. What do I have to show for all the money? Like what? I don't understand. Oh, like a car, a personal house, my wife, my children, my family. Moses, you know it is only when you play well in a game that you win a game. Are you sure you have played well enough in this game to win? Oh ho, Jonah! Jonah, what are you insinuating? What are you implying? That I have not worked hard enough to enjoy the luxuries that you do? All the people that come here to give their testimonies and make their confessions. Who, who arranges them? Who writes the scripts? Of course I do. I know you do. And then you're insinuating, Jonah, that I've not worked hard enough uh, be, be, because uh, my name is not Nancy or that I, I cannot offer her kind of services to you. Is that also Jonah? this morning <laughs> and he confirmed that I'm pregnant. Uh. Darling, God has answered our prayers. God has... <laughs> Jesus, I'm so happy. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> of course I'm sure. I don't know how this could have happened without Prophet Jonah. These are highly spiritual matters. I will advise that you take things very, very easy. Just well, well, well um, that is what I've been doing actually, uh, taking everything easy. Let me 
ask you a question? Sure, Can I? why not? Um, if for any reason, oh. I mean, you, you'll have to leave the church, will you still be faithful to the church? I mean, if for any reason, God forbid, would you still be faithful to the church? <laughs> I know. I know that it is Jonah that has asked you to ask me that question no, with a view no, to determining no. what is on my mind. I know, I know. No, no, no. No, Brother Moses, you have it all wrong. I just asked you out of curiosity. Hmm, indeed. Anyway, whatever Jonah has directed you to find out from me, just tell him you should be mad enough to confront me. No. No. Prophet Jonah did not tell me anything. I just asked you. There's nothing wrong. I can assure you that. All right? Thank okay. you for your curious question, Sister Nancy. Yes, what is it? Uh, Oga, uh, Prophet Jonah has said, let me give all the church key where they will treat to me. Jonah instructed you to do this? Uh, Oga, an instruction. Now listen, you're a security guard and I employed you, so you have no right to accost me this way. Oga, no, this is not a bit, now so you say me. Okay. Prophet Jonah, why did you send security guards to embarrass me? Security guards? I don't understand. The security guard you asked to collect the keys to the store will find you. Oh no. Please, forgive him. I only sent him to ask if he had the urge to give the keys to you before he went to Benin. <laughs> Prophet Jonah, since when did you start sending a man security guard to collect things from me? It was all a mistake. Don't see it as anything. Mm, relax, relax. <laughs> the exact words of Nancy. Now tell me, Prophet Jonah, what script are both of you reading from? <laughs> Moses, you know your problem. You worry over nothing. That apart, there is something else I want to discuss with you. See then, whatever it is, we can always talk it over. I want to quit. Sorry? You have me do a duty. I want to quit. <laughs> that apart, there is something else I want to discuss with you. Sit down. Whatever it is, we can always talk it over. I want to quit. Sorry? You have me Jonah duty. I want to quit. <laughs> You're killing me. Are you not? You don't mean what you just said to me now, do you? Of course I am serious. But why? The president of the country is coming here next week. I am supposed to be in charge of preparations to receive him. Have you forgotten? <laughs> I am not interested anymore. No, no, Moses. You can't wait after all what we have done together. Forget about everything we have done together. Forget them! to me right now is that I am leaving. Brother Moses, we are brothers. We must learn to resolve our differences. I'm your brother. I promise you things will get better. Think about it. I have thought of everything, everything. Do 
get me until tomorrow. By tomorrow again, I'll call you and we'll talk once again. Things will get better. Think about it. <laughs> Jonah here. May I be on to the AIG, please? No worry, I understand. No worry. What's happening? My mind says we cannot collect the money from you. No worry, no worry. Thank you. No problem. No God problem. bless you. Thank you. No problem. See you something. I know we feed the entire side. Ah, no. <laughs> no talking for you, I beg. No feed the entire side. Uh, mm. Okay. Uh, I want to ask you whether uh, you, you don't marry. Whether I don't marry? Yeah. I never marry. So what do you think I'm concerned? Not, not, no problem at all. At all. No problem. Uh, you see, uh, myself, I never marry. And that time when I carry you for Kada, my spirit, they tell me, say, husband and wife, feet fit me are you. Even <laughs> I know I got you that you know. Hey! <laughs> if, I swear, if you agree, hey! I go God. marry you. My other oh, Kada, husband. man! God, I go punish you. It be like you shackle go go before you come knock for my door. You look me from head to reach down. A rich person where you go feel for no talk. Because I enter your kada. You don't know say shoe get size. Sister, no vex. You no problem now. Nah. I won't ask you. You don't say they say opportunity come back to us. But you know, if you be said, be your opportunity husband. Before I open my eye, make you run come out. And as you they go, carry your wound, show you carry come, carry and go back. Why are you? I don't want to go. Why don't you punish you? No, man, you go mad. Milonia husband. What think they make you the love? Chew. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh. So now the millionaire husband where your pastor promise you be that one. Hey! He awoke at that. Good evening. Brother Moses. Yes. Brother Moses! Brother Moses! Yes. Please, some people are here for you. Okay, I'm on my way. Come on. And who are you, gentlemen? Sorry, we are from the state command headquarters. You are under arrest. Sir. Me? Under arrest? Yes, sir. Are you sure you are not making a mistake? Absolutely not, sir. That's not true. Wait a minute. Uh Brother James! There won't be any need for that. Wait, 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 wait. Sister Grace! Now I'm going to ask you again. Who is circulating the pamphlet Prophet Jonah's Church of Satan? Officer, please. I do not know anything about the publication. I am not saying it. You are lying to me. You know everything about that publication. You are the writer, the distributor, and the publisher of that pamphlet. You even have your picture on the pamphlet. Officer, for the second time, I do not know anything about the publication. I'm not even saying my eyes on the pamphlet either. Listen, listen to me. You know everything about that publication. Because I'm going to get the truth from you. The whole truth. You call yourself a man of God. Just you tell lies more than Satan. I'm 
going to get that truth from you. If you don't, I'm going to dismantle you. You are not a liar. Finally. Finally, for like it. <laughs> You are going to have a baby. My dear sister, it is the doing of the Lord. And indeed, it is marvelous in our eyes. But Dora, if not for you that took me to Prophet Jonah's church, I would have been a barren woman all my life. But I thank God for Prophet Jonah, the Jesus of our time. Did I not tell you? Prophet Jonah makes all impossibilities possible. You've not seen anything yet. Eh? This is just the beginning. Hey. That man visited my situation and changed my life. I'm sure your husband must be a very happy man now. Happy? He's not only happy now. In fact, he's now a member of Prophet Jonah's church. As we're talking right now, he's there. That is wonderful. <laughs> In fact, Dora, mm -hmm. there is no one who visits Prophet Jonah's church and remains the same. I am a living testimony. In fact, I owe my life, my joy, my happiness to Prophet Jonah. He's my everything. It's so wonderful. You, you are a sweet lady. <laughs> are you flattering me? No, I'm saying that. Um, Kate. Yeah? I, I have to go now. Oh, so quick. I thought you could stay a little longer. Uh, uh, look, um, don't worry. We, we, we have all the time in the world to, to, to move around, have fun, you know, don't worry. All the time in the world to stay together? Yes. Famous. Are you kidding me? Oh, look. Bless my heart. I am not kidding you. Will you marry me? <sighs> Kate, I said, will you marry me? Yet, I'll marry you famous. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> The devil comes in many disguises Behind the beauty is the beast He makes you see signs and wonders Jesus! Jesus! Famous. Kate, what is it? I'll see it. 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 Tell me, you published that malicious pamphlet to discredit Brother Jonah. Not so. Like I told your colleague, I did not publish any pamphlet. I did not do it. The image of the prophet to poison the minds of those who go there to worship. That's your motive. In fact, what is your motive? Not so. <laughs> Tell me, officer, how much did you did uh, Jonah pay you and your colleague uh, to frame me up? Uh, treat me this way, humiliate me. <laughs> He's a devil like you are. I will shoot you, kill you, waste you, and nothing will happen. Do you realize that? There will be grave consequences and repercussions. Should anything happen to me, officer? What consequences? What repercussion? Shoot with your mouth once again, then I'll shoot this bullet into your gullet, you bastard. Shoot again. Hello, Sister Nancy. When did you return from your trip? I came in yesterday. I hope the prophet is around. No, he's not. I have looked everywhere for him, but I can't find him. Good. I need to see him urgently. I guess it is about the arrest of our brother Moses. Is brother Moses under arrest? Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's not why I came to see him. You see, the head of state is dead. Uh, 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 Sister Nancy, 
Are you sure? Yes, I am sure. He died last night. And the prophet needs to hear this on time. Excuse me, please. You look troubled in your heart. Is there anything the matter? Prophet Jonah, Sister Nancy just left here now. She brought a very sad news. The death of the head of state, isn't it? You two have already heard about it. He disobeyed God. He believed so much in his own powers. That apart, I have been looking for you to tell you that... Uh, that Moses, Aaron Moses was arrested yesterday by security operatives. I thought he didn't know. Nothing to worry about. I have phoned the police commissioner and very soon Moses will be released. Why did they have to arrest him in the first place? What did they do? I haven't got time to go into all that. But Moses is becoming very ambitious. Ambitious? And an ambitious man is a desperate man. A desperate man can do anything. You mean you don't have any idea at all on why he was arrested? The police commissioner did not tell you anything? Elder Rotimi, when Moses is released, he will have all the time in the world to answer you. For now, let's go into my office and talk about the visiting president. Uh, Pastor Lannis, uh, to answer the question, sir, um, I have found a new church. We are called Answers Prayer Speedy. And that is the reason why you've not seen me in the church, sir. I see. So where is that? Ah, is that the great tabernacle, uh, Prophet Jonas Church? Eh? Look, Pastor, since I became a member of that church, it has been miracle. Miracle galore for me and my wife. <laughs> Take a look at Fulake. <laughs> Can you see? <laughs> that is evidence number one, Pastor. Yes, so, Pastor. <laughs> Good afternoon. Uh, yes, Pastor. <laughs> Let's look at the scripture, Matthew 24, 24. <clears throat> For there shall arise false Christs and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elects. <laughs> Don't be deceived by magical and occultic miracles. <laughs> this is the end time. False prophets. Pastor Linus, I hope you are not referring to the great, miraculous works of uh, Prophet Jonah as occultic and magical. But you said it all. You said it all. This is the end time. False prophet. I don't care, Pastor Linus. Let it be, Pastor Linus. Okay. All I know is that Prophet Jonah performed for me in three months what I could not get in your church in five years. Yes. Yes. You cannot take away our blessings. Of course. You cannot take away our blessings for goodness. Of course. Your plans have failed. Your plans have failed. We have seen the light. Yes. Prophet Jonah in the light. Surely, my God allowed you to receive delusion because you refuse to receive the knowledge of truth. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Pastor, uh, thank you very much for coming. Uh, we have heard you. <laughs> Haven't we, honey? We have heard you. Uh, thanks very much for coming. Uh, you can now leave. Uh, <laughs> that's the door. Mm. That is the door. Brother Benga, I will continue to pray for you and your wife so that God can deliver you from this spiritual blindness. Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> that's the door, sir. He's not even happy that God has answered my prayers. Yes, sir. Eh? Eh? After deceiving us all the while, he has the guts to come here and tell us nonsense. Can you imagine? He is envious, jealous of Prophet Jonas, uh, 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 miraculous works. You can even say that in, in his utterances. Eh? He doesn't even seem to believe in the miraculous work God is doing. I don't understand. But Danny, you know. Yes. I think something has gone wrong with Pastor Linus. You could be right. Because. It takes demonic influence for anyone to talk against a prophet of God like Prophet Jonah. You are right. Something must be wrong with him. Judge Bush, America. Judge Bush. Oh, 
got to use noses! You got to use noses! I don't go America! I don't go America! Insanity! I command you! Come out of him! 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 I know. Kumui. I know. Who are you? 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 What did I do? Why are all these things happening to me? At 27, I am still single. My younger sisters are all married. Already people are jeering and laughing at me. Each time a man proposes to me, he runs away and never comes back. First, it was CY, then Bode, Alice, Emma, Lancelot, and looking for Kenneth, I'm not famous. God, why? Why, God? <laughs> <laughs> know about it? Anybody else like who? A friend, a relative, or somebody you could confide in. I mean, somebody like Zubi, does he know? Zubi. Look, that is out of the question, okay? Zubi and I are just business partners. We keep our relationship strictly on business level. Fine. Fine. So, we will get rid of the pregnancy immediately. What? Prophet Jonah, what are you saying? Are you out of your mind? Are you saying that I should get rid of my first pregnancy? Damn! What? So what do you want to do? Have the baby! That's what I am going to do. Have the baby. This is dangerous. What did you say? I said I am not comfortable with your decision to have the baby. Well, I am sorry. You can never change it or stop it. All right? Yes. Who will you tell people is the father of your baby? <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
I will tell them that Jesus Christ is the father of the baby. Are you satisfied? Are you? See, I know what your worry is. By the time your wife, your church members, your international members find out about this whole thing, it will not be good for your image as a prophet, right? Okay, that's okay. Just calm down, okay? I have a safer plan. Sit down. Sit down. I have a safer plan. Okay. Let's hear about your safer plan. See, I go over to United States of America, have my baby there, and live there permanently. That's a bright idea. Okay. I, I like it. Fine. So, to that effect, you pay the sum of 20 million naira into my account. That is an outrageous amount of money to ask for. That is too much. Juna. Are you saying that 20 million naira is too much for you to give to me? To pay me off after the business I have helped break into your account? Calm down. Calm down. No, 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 wait. Are you telling me that 20 million naira is too much for you to give to me after you have altered my plans and put me in a family way? Hey, calm down. Do we have to go through this all over again? All right, then. Okay? I will stay right here and have the baby. And let the whole world know who the father of the baby is. All right? Case this. That is blackmail. You are threatening my ministry. Then why right, I am threatening your ministry? Damn it! I can't be so, 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 so mischievous, so inconsiderate, so mean, so selfish. Jonah! God. Uh, Pastor, you have been very loud of late in your criticisms of Prophet uh, Jonah. So, as a minister of the gospel, what is your impression of Prophet Jonah? Taking into consideration the many criticisms telling his miracles and of course the question over his source of power. <laughs> I have watched that self acclaimed prophet Jonah and uh, spiritually I have come to the conclusion that he is a practitioner of uh, spiritism, satanism and mysticism. Hmm. Uh, all of which he pretentiously uses in the name of Jesus. He is an occultist. Uh, thank you very much, sir. What informs your assessment and conclusions of Prophet Jonah? Uh, well, uh, of late, I've watched him on TV. For the first time, I saw him tormenting a man, asking him to confess that he was an arm robber. Hmm. Besides, his uh, doctrinal interpretations are wrong and misplaced. Uh, if that is true, why then are millions of people from here and abroad patronizing him? Oh, of course, uh, you should know that people are looking for signs and wonders. Not bothering whether the source is of God or not. They are looking for supernatural uh, uh, solution to natural problems. The miracles he claimed to perform are nothing but esteemed abominations. Those are strong words, Pastor. Thank you very much, sir. Well, thank you, uh, Arenzi. It's been nice talking with you. Nice well, my God, uh, just as she has a package. Okay. Good morning, madam. Good morning. Is I Miss Nancy Basaki? Oh, uh, yes. Ah, you're still here? Mm. Go now, go. Tell him I'll join him soon. I don't want him to leave the house. Tell him I'm coming. Well, Sorry, I have please. This can I have... for you. What? I have this package for you. From where? From top. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Thank you. Thank you.
gotten by an old reliable agent of mine. I hope she's okay for the sacrifice. There is something about her. Um, something like what, Prophet? Did your agent tell you how he got her? Did he tell you? Uh, well, yes. Uh, that she was going to church for a night vigil, and it was very late and she was all alone. <sighs> Don't worry, Prophet. She is okay. Very, very okay. If you say it's okay, so be it. So, when can the sacrifice be performed? We will meet tomorrow evening, then I'll tell you when. My God, what is happening to me? God in heaven, don't let this be true. How can I live with this kind of strange experience, my God? Darling, I thought you were in bed with me. Your mind looks troubled. Is anything the matter? Uh, Tell honey. me, maybe I could prove a solution. Honey, I, I don't know. Um, since the day you gave bed, um, something is just happening to me. What could it be? I... I no longer feel like a man. I don't understand you. You see... Since that day that you gave bed... Right from that day... Mm -hmm. My manhood has completely become ineffective. Hmm? I no longer have erection. God Do you mean that all this night we sleep in each other's arms, you, you, you don't feel anything? Nothing. Nothing, honey. Nothing. Nothing. Enemies are at work. Eh? The devil is a liar. Honey, you have to see Prophet Jonah tomorrow morning. Hmm? And I know everything will be well again. I have seen Prophet Jonah. He has prayed. He has prayed concerning this problem. Oh, but but, but no, nothing seems to be happening. Honey, I still insist that you see Prophet Jonah. There is nothing too hard for him to do. Hmm? Honey, come, let's go back to the bedroom. Maybe I could, I could perform the miracle myself. Honey, come now. Come, let's go. Uh, Prophet, your ministry is currently at the center of a raging controversy because many people say your own mode of Christianity and healing is as controversial as it is questioning. Why? If I may ask, people like who? Um, Pastor Linus, for instance, who insists that you are practicing occultism. I don't listen to unjust utterances. Because the Bible tells me that we should be careful of what we hear, for what we hear can pollute us, and I don't want to be polluted. Thank you very much. Um, apart from Pastor Linus, there are many others who criticize you. In your opinion, why do you think these people criticize you at all? It is not very usual for people to criticize what they don't understand. Jesus himself was very controversial. He was accused of possessing magical and devilish powers. He was called the king of Beelzebub by the same people he came to save. Because they did not understand him, they killed him. Thank you very much. Uh, um, Prophet, um, the president of a country uh, was here. Yes. Did he come for healing or for salvation? For both, like others. All right. Uh, there is still one thing. Uh, when you say many of your critics don't understand you, I, I get worried. Because 
majority of them, like Pastor Linus, are well-known pastors of God with several years of ministry. They are also learned. <laughs> well, you have to understand something. And what you have to understand is that Jesus himself was framed, attacked, killed by the Pharisees, who were also learned. You, my friend, you also learned. Are you not? <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> <That's just him. laughs>
call me tomorrow. Why are you disturbing me? Something I'm supposed to know. He says some pastors are against him, the same way they are against us here. So? He wants us to unify forces and fight these pastors. What do you think? We should be very careful not to associate with somebody like that whose name stinks. Agreed. Let us also recognize the fact that he's our leader in this metaphysical ministry. Wait a second, prophet. Meta what? Is that what we are running here? A metaphysical ministry? Well, uh, well you know, his opinion, not mine. Um, a totally erroneous opinion anyway. Hmm. Well, uh, that apart, it is about a month today since Moses was arrested. About a month since you assured me that he was going to be released and he is still in detention. What is happening? I don't know what is happening. I am wondering, Prophet, why are you not taking the arrest and detention of Moses seriously? Elder Mood wrote to me, what do you expect me to do? Twist the arm of the police? No, 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 no. My spiritual position forbids me to do such a thing. Uh, you can go ahead and see how far you can help uh, him. I was there earlier today only to be told that he has been moved from the neighboring police station to another. I'm not aware. I'm not aware. Is it as serious as that? Mommy, mommy loves you. <laughs> Sweetheart. Why me? Eh? Why? Why me? Good. This can't be. What have I done to deserve this, God? Eh? Oh, no, no. <laughs> uh, I don't believe this. You mean after all the prayers by Prophet Jonah, you still don't feel anything? Yes, nothing. Nothing has changed. Nothing. <laughs> Darling, it's all crazy. <laughs> oh God, why me? Huh? Why? Why is it not now? Eh? What will you tell neighbors if you know why you're crying in the gather here? It's enough. Ah. No. <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> I see. 
If you were minding your business, why did you come to my house? The house which I have been building for my father. You are here to destroy. That's a kind of put it in your place. Ripo Santa Baraka for Santa Baraka. Papa Santa Baraka, the Kiriba, the Liberu Santa Baraka. I bind in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, you foul spirits, I come against you. I come against you. All the weapon, I destroy in the name of Jesus. Moses, I can't believe my eyes. Why are they doing all this to you? What did you do exactly? They are rooting me. It is all the handiwork of Jonah. Honestly, I, I didn't do anything. The very money that we made for Jonah is what he is spending for the police to keep me here and possibly eliminate me. Uh, you mean Jonah is behind all this? When will you understand who Jonah is? You are dining with one of the most wicked principalities in existence. <coughs> who has succeeded in deceiving people and nations, destroyed lives, homes, marriages. That man is a beast. But Moses, why didn't you tell me all this before now? Elder wrote to me, I thought you knew. Well, uh, we were on oath, uh, a covenant not to expose our secrets. My God. Uh, that reminds me. Do you know that both Nancy and Brother Zubi are dead? Nancy died of a bomb blast. And Zubi died of a ghastly motor accident. A young girl who was going to be used for rituals was sent by the police in Zubi's house. <coughs> Jonah was mentioned in the whole story. Now, now, yeah, 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 story. You know why some of your guys want to come for us? Now, I'm finished, they commit us inside. Elder Rotimi, don't mind him. You see, I am not surprised at all. Jonah is a man who will use somebody and waste him whenever he wishes. Be careful, Elder Rotimi. Beware of Jonah. Uh, how? Let us look at the whole scenario. Nancy died of a bomb blast. Zubi died in a motor, in a ghastly motor accident, obviously killed by Jonah. Look at me. Look at where he has put me. Elder wrote me. You are the only surviving pioneer member of the church. Please, please, please beware. Father sent me. Then you must not mind what my detractors so say. See signs and wonders, like the more you look, the less you see. Officer! Officer! Officer, where are you? Officer, what am I doing here? Why am I here? Abomination! Catastrophe! 
Damnation! <laughs> oh, how can a snake swallow its kite? <laughs> Brother Gwenga, I warned you. I warned you against your association with awkward masters, practitioners of shamanism with Christian terminology. I'll tell you something. Whatever gift the devil, the master, gives to you with the right hand, it takes back with the left hand. Pastor, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry I, I didn't listen in the first place. Please pray for me. I, I don't know what to do anymore. I'm so confused. But I'm going there. God is a merciful God. We all shall continue to pray so that God can intervene in your situation. Please. I, I really need your prayer, Pastor. Please pray for me. Yes, Please. Yes, Please, Pastor. Pray for me. But before I do that, you must denounce that prophet Jonah who is operating under the spirit of giants and jambres whose power, science, and wonders are embedded in the mystery of iniquity, calculated to deceive, entrap, and distract God's people. Now, are you ready to denounce him? Brother are you ready to denounce, to totally break away from that sworn enemy of righteousness called Jonah? Are you ready? How befitting it is to you. <laughs> Thank you, brother. It's quite I'm easy. grateful. More blessings. Thank you. Jonah prayed over a problem and it remains. It has never happened before. I'm listening. Darling, you will go back to Prophet Jonah and confess every sin you have committed secretly. Is that what Prophet Jonah told you? That is what you have to do now. Go back to Prophet Jonah. Confess all your secret sins to him. And once he prays for you, I know that all your problems will be over. Just Sh shut up! Just shut up for like a... Benga. Don't benga me anymore! Don't benga me anymore! Hey, how would I have known that you, you for like of all people, arranged with Prophet Jonah to exchange my manhood for a child? Benga, have you gone mad? Oh yes, I am worse than a Batman. I am dead. How is he? Prophet Jonah is dead. Sleep in the Lord. 
according to the Lord shall. I shall rise on the third day to continue the work of you who has sent me. That is the promise of shall. Brothers and sisters, weep no more, for Prophet Jonah is not dead. He has gone back to our father to acquire more powers. He shall come back to us. Uh, Brother James, are you saying Prophet Jonah shall resurrect? After three days. After three days, he shall resurrect. That was assurance he gave us. He shall certainly resurrect. Shama, Ebenezer, you are the mighty God. We give you glory, honor, power, majesty. Shama, the King of Kings. Shama, 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 the King of Kings, Shama, 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 you are the mighty God. We give you glory, honor, oh, power, majesty. You are the King, the King of Kings, Shama. Are you sure he's going to resur resurrect as he said? Because for four hours now, over four hours we've been standing here waiting. Well, nothing is impossible for him to do. He said so. But let us just wait and see. We are waiting, but other church members are not here. Because they do not believe. Let them go now. He let them go. Eh? He said he will resurrect after three days. Why don't you believe him? Have faith! <laughs> Strong! 